Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Cassandra. I have a PhD in vineyard and wine science. And on this channel, I talk about what it's like to live and work in wine country. So it's Sunday and I've been spending time around the house just getting ready for the work week, um, cleaning and whatnot. And I actually got my first FabFitFun box delivered to my house. And I wanted to unbox it on camera but to keep this video on theme, I thought I'd sip a little wine while I unboxed. So uh, what I have today is... Hi everyone, it's future me jumping into this video. So at this time, I am tasting a Sauvignon Blanc wine that I opened. And to cut to the chase, there's a flaw in this wine that I identified. And I'll explain what the flaw is and it's uh, cork taint. The wine is corked. There's lots of different terms that are thrown around the industry, but mostly you'll hear corked or cork taint. So what has happened is there is a flaw in the wine due to the cork that was used. And ultimately I've decided to not reveal the name of the winery because cork taint is due to a bad cork and about 0.7 to 1.2 percent of corks have this problem so in 2005 2800 bottles were blind tasted by wine spectator and these were napa valley wines and they found that seven percent of the wines had damage due to the cork uh, so this damage is a musty, basement -y, wet dog aroma, so super pleasant. Uh, but because this, is, this can happen to any winery, I'd rather not reveal the name of the winery and uh, just focus on this as a teaching moment. So I hope you respect this choice and on with the lesson. Remember my swirl, sniff, sip. Unfortunately, I'm noticing a bit of a defect in this wine, kind of a wet, damp basement, um, musty kind of aroma. And as I smell the cork, I can actually perceive that aroma and that is a defect and it's called cork taint, TCA taint, and it's caused by 246 trichloral anisoles or 246 tribromo anisoles and basically um, fungi that are ubiquitous in the atmosphere they come into contact with chlorinated phenol so this is why you don't clean your winery with chlorine and not to say that they did but um, this is why wineries choose not to um, use chlorine based cleaners is because it can promote these aromas and basically they can build up in the barrel in the cork even um, fining chemicals. So sometimes wines will be fined with, um, with clays, like bentonite clay, and the, uh, the anisoles, the trichloral anisoles can um, build up as an aroma compound in the wine. So kind of unfortunate, but I guess it is a learning lesson. So um, bonus round, I'm just gonna go pick another wine. Um, but that was too bad because I could see this wine being lovely um, if we had had summer barbecues, which we didn't have them last year. Um, I think it would have been fun to have with things like chicken kebabs, fish tacos, even some goat cheese. Yeah, so that's kind of a bummer. So now while I unbox, I'm going to enjoy this... Um, Domain Anderson 2015 Pinot Noir, the Dosh Vineyard from Anderson Valley. So this was one of the last um, places I went wine tasting before shelter in place um, as well. 
and I also have footage of that trip and it was a very special trip because one of my dear friends actually manages the vineyards for Domain Anderson and also Scharfenberger and Roderer. So this was a really special day. Um, so let me show you a little bit of that footage, which you know I never shared and I have no idea why. I probably just got kind of busy. beautiful ruby color still um, it does now I guess it's going on to six years old um, yeah let's give it a swirl a sniff sip <sighs> it's like perfume beautiful acid the acid hasn't kind of aged out of this one. Um, I just love, I think the reason I chose this one, I can remember, is the structure, the tannin structure. So I used to drink a lot of big, bold red wines and I've kind of drifted away towards the more delicate Syrahs and the Pinot Noirs. Um, but this one kind of bridged that gap. You get spiciness, probably from the oak barrels that they chose, and also a little tannin structure, which you don't get you don't get quite as much of that with uh, Pinot Noir because it's a very thin skin grape and tannins reside in the skin and seeds of grapes, but um, uh, it does have nice structure still and just extremely aromatic, just like briar berries and uh, it's perfect to drink by itself. You don't have to pair it with anything, but I mean, this is exactly what you want with maybe newbie wine drinkers and have a big... Um, cheese platter. This would go well with berries that, you know, berries aren't the sweetest of sweet fruits, so raspberries and strawberries and some cheeses. That would be fabulous, especially creamy cheeses because there's enough acidity in this to cut through. So, um, yeah, uh, definitely a beautiful spot to visit if you're planning a Northern California vacation. So again, that was Domain Anderson, um, 2015 Pinot Noir, the Dosh Vineyard um, from Anderson Valley. Good stuff. 
So let's do our unboxing. All right, here we go. So this is it. Okay, so let's go through it. So I got the FabFitFun magazine. You know, the reason I um, decided to get this box is because I feel like I need to be reminded to take care of myself. And this is a quarterly uh, delivery system. And I just thought it would be kind of fun to remind myself to stop and take care of myself. So this is nice. Actually, there's a self-care checklist, which is perfect. And a sticker. This is my add-on item. It's a kimono. And I just kind of fell in love with it because it's black, which is my favorite color to wear. Pink is my favorite color overall, but it's just a lightweight kimono. So I think it's just gonna be that type of thing that can get you through um, the awkward time between spring and winter. And it has little uh, gray toned flowers on it. And I could do a tank top or a t-shirt or a dress underneath. Oh, look at all these goodies inside. That's fun. Um, there were some items that you get to pick, and um, one of the first items that I chose was this, uh, was it Summer and Rose fluffy um, bathrobe, and it has a hood. I think it also has pockets. And um, I wear hoodies around the house with the hood up, so I thought, well, why not get a bathrobe that has a hood? I was really tempted to get the earrings. Um, I think they were Kate Spade earrings, but they were just like pearls and rhinestones and I just wasn't that enthused by them. But um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this color because it is beige, but it is really, it is really soft. Um, and here's the little hood and it does have pockets. So that's soft. It's kind of a cross between a gray and an ivory. And here's the, the tail. And let's see, daily facial dry brush. Ooh, this is great because I have a body dry brush just to help with lymphatic system drainage. So this is meant for the face to just, I guess, also probably do the same thing it says for individuals who think in the shower honestly I want to not think I think too darn much so that's fun and then what is this a credit card case I guess it fits below your belt so that's good uh, when we eventually resume travel you know, I mean, I haven't been anywhere really. Been to the beach a couple times in this last year, but traveling pretty much is a no-go. And this is kind of um, a crimson color. Oh, that's cute. It has three, wait, how many does it have? It has two little slots for a charge card and um, a slot inside and a little coin purse. So you can actually just like put this in your pocket if you're going to do a quick errand or something. So it's everything that you need. And you know, I was really hesitant to try FabFitFun because I thought it was just gonna be like a bunch of clutter. But um, in the end, I realized that I think it's important to remember self-care because I don't know, I just go through life, work, 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 and I buy face masks and never use them. So I wanna start using those things and feel cared for. Mm, I feel a little more cared for right now. Mm. All right, light mode, skincare, high altitude hydration mask. Sweet, I need hydration. I think it's the secret to the fountain of youth is just hydrate yourself like crazy. Better do that right now. Oh, 
I'm feeling younger. Antioxidants, hydration, perfect. Hydration. All right, what's this? Liquid eyeliner in black. Yes, I love my liquid eyeliner. I have Kat Von D on right now, but yes, a staple for me. Good job, FabFitFun. Oh, I was super excited about this. The Alginist, um, Algeronic Acid Complete Eye Renewal Balm. Man, I need to renew these eyes. They tired. So excited about it. I am about out of my uh, L'Oreal Rapid Wrinkle Repair. So, excited about this one. And what are you? The Way China Herbal Beauty 2-in-1 Purify and Glow Mask Collection. Golden Root and Brown Sugar. That's pretty packaging. Oh, there's something else below. Look at this. Cutting boards, that's a total surprise. Actually, I was thinking about how I needed new cutting boards, so this is perfect. And they're pretty colors too. Sweet. I just realized they put this kind of card in. Half full or half empty, there's always room for more wine. Oh. This is interesting, wine concierge. I think it's like a wine shipment service. Huh, I wouldn't mind uh, giving that a try, checking it out at least. All right, so first Fab Fit Fun box is unboxed and I'm really happy with it. Wow, I'm really looking forward to this Sunday night now. I'm gonna like slap a face mask on and drink some wine and cozy up with my robe that has a hood on it and I'm gonna chop some stuff up. Sounds great, can't wait to do that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe. And feel free to comment if you enjoyed this type of content. And cheers from wine country.